Good morning, all. Ankit this side, and I'm your trainer for Azure Admin Training. This is the first session of introduction about me, about yourself, or about the Azure. We are going to do that. So first of all, what I'm going to do is I'm going to give introduction about myself. After my introduction, if you have any question related to your career, related to the training, if you have any question, please raise your hand. Whatever the question you have, I'll try to answer that question. So first of all, myself, Ankit Narula, I have total 11 years of experience in the IT industry. Out of this 11 years of experience, in first three years, I worked in Oracle Apps as a techno functional consultant where we are writing SQL queries, PLSQL queries, and generating reports. And with the help of these, even we are doing it some modifications in existing setups for financial, we were doing it. And from last eight plus years, I'm working on top most two cloud platforms, which we have in market Azure and AWS. I'm working on these two cloud platform from last eight years. This is the professional experience. And from last 10 years, I'm giving trainings also. So I have a 10 plus years of experience in training. And currently I'm providing the training for Azure admin, Azure DevOps, AWS associate, and AWS DevOps. So these four courses I'm teaching right now. So this is about me. If you have any question, you can please raise your hand and I'm going to share some of the details in the chat box. You can refer that also. I'm sharing the course content link. I'm sharing our social media details. And even I'm sharing the WhatsApp community link. If you are not there in our 239 batch number WhatsApp community, you can join by using the link which is shared in the chat box. Now, any question anyone have, please raise your hand. Okay, look like no one has any question related to your career, related training, anyone? No questions? Okay, now we will start with the demo session. Guys, if you have any question, please raise your hand. Don't send your questions in the chat box. Yes, please, you can unmute. Yeah, I want to ask, um, how often are we going to be having a class? Monday to days? Friday, as per India timing. All right, thank you. You are from which location? I'm from the U.S. Um, which time zone? Um, it, um, I think it's central time zone. I'm also in the same time zone. So I'm also in the same time zone. So it will, if I talk about from the U.S., it will be Sunday to Thursday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm in the same time zone also. I'm. Uh, right. You are in which state? I'm in Kansas. Oh, uh, that's good. In which city? Uh, Salina is a small city. Okay, I'm, I'm in the Shawnee. I'm also in the Kansas. I'm in the Shawnee. Oh. So we have the same time zone. We both have, so it will be as per the hour one. It will be 7 p.m. CST. Yep. Okay. So it will be Sunday to Thursday as per CST time zone. Yeah. Yeah. That was it. Okay. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, Mahant, you can admit. Mahant, your voice is very low. Please increase your volume. Audible? Yes, ma'am. Yeah, sir. Uh, sir, you can explain this uh, Azure Data Administration role, sir. 
This is AZ104, Mahant. Yeah, yeah. So in AZ104, those are not those things are not coming yet. And whatever I'm teaching it, it you can please see the course content, which I have shared the link in the chat box. You can please refer that with the help of that you will get the data. Okay, what I'm asking now uh, that uh, what we get after this course, uh, the trolls. This is Azure admin role. Yeah. So we, for that one, you can apply the jobs. Okay, only for administration side you are saying, right? So you, whatever the course you are going to learn for that one, you can apply. With administrator one, you can't apply for DevOps roles. Uh, no, 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 the, not like that. Uh, actually, recently I have searched in job portals. Uh, so we are getting Azure Data Engineer and Azure Support Engineer. So this type of roles are getting. So after this course, we can go to these uh, roles. Here are the, uh, which we have the certification. Based on those certifications, we are going for that. And the one which we are teaching right is AZ104. Okay. This one we are teaching. These are the different, different one we have it. Okay. 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 Thank you. Yes, Rahul. Hi, Ankit. Uh, just want to confirm, like, uh, is it uh, going to help us to, uh, like, uh, for AZ-900 as well? AZ-900 is an optional. It's not mandatory okay. to go with that one. Without that, also, you can directly come to this associate one. It is completely optional. If you see here, here also it is mentioned this is optional. AZ, whatever is, is uh, that found, found, uh, this found foundational one, Whichever we have fundamentals, these are optional. Is AZ okay. 900, DP 900, AZ 900, these are optional. You can directly go to associate level. Okay. And one more question, like, uh, uh, is there any upcoming batch in December as well for Azure? Right now, there is no, nothing is planned. Okay. Fine. Right now, just plan only for the November, but nothing is planned about the one. And I don't think so, any batch I'm going to plan because... Right now, as per my office timings, I have just only two schedules. One is this as per if I talk about my time zone, which I am in CST. So as one is 7 p.m., other one is 8.30 p.m. So 8.30, I've already started a batch and 7 p.m. I'm going to start. Other than I don't have any time right now as per my office timings. So I okay. don't think so any batch I'm going to plan in the web. All right. Okay. Thank you. Yes, sir. Yes, yeah, <clears> how <throat> uh, the feasibility of Azure admin and combination of Azure DevOps? It's the combination of the role is be there or what? How the market is? Means whenever you are applying for a job, they are always looking for a person who is multitasking nowadays. Okay. So definitely, whenever you're applying for a job, they can go with that. You can have Azure admin knowledge also. You can have Azure DevOps also. But yes, if you just apply with Azure admin, you'll get a less package as compared to both. Okay. Only Azure admin, right? Yeah, definitely the packages will be very less as compared to if you have both the knowledges, you will get that. Okay. 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 Any more questions, Tanya? No, no. Okay. May I know your professional experience, what you have, Tanya? I am working in a data warehouse uh, ETL team lead. Uh, working in which a... ETL you are working? I'm data stage working on IBM data stage from last oh. 10 years. So the, my uncle is also working in data stage yeah. from very long period of time. I don't know from how many years, but he's also working in data stage. That's good. Thank you, Chitana. Thank you. Yes, Valentine, you can unmute. Yes, so I just wanted to ask if uh, if we're doing uh, Azure admin, mm -hmm. like you said, um, the the fundamental is optional, but with Azure admin, are we still going to have the opportunity to learn the basic Azure services? Whatever is required for the fundamentals with those things, which yeah, for admin one, we are going to learn in this. Okay. 
because from basics we are going to start we are not going to start from the day one or from the day two that things which you cannot understand it so slowly slowly we are going for that all right okay thank you okay. thank you anyone have any more question yes vivek hello yeah ma'am yes yes vivek yes vivek i am able to hear you hello yes vivek i am able to hear you are you able to hear me vivek are you able to hear me Vivek, look like you have some issue with your mic. Please resolve that issue, and then you can raise your hand. Yes, and Kosh, you can unmute. Of course, I'm sorry. Yeah. Um. Do you want to um show show the difference between Azure Admin and Azure DevOps? Services are not same. This is the only difference that if I talk about in Azure Admin. There are different services. If I talk about in Azure DevOps, the services are different, not same. If you want both the course content, uh, right now I have in my system, I have Azure admin one. I'm sharing that in the chat box. If you're looking for Azure DevOps course content, you can please contact our WhatsApp group admins. They will share that one. Okay. Any more question? No. Okay. Yes, Murali, you can admit. Murali, you have raised your hand. To ask your question, you need to unmute. Yeah. Hello? Are you yes. able to hear me? Yeah. Yes, no, yeah, uh, yes. Okay. I am working as a basis consultant. So how it will be helpful for a Azure admin in terms of basis, SAP basis consultant? You are working in SAP. Yes. ERP tool. No, sorry, not yes. SAP. Yes, SAP is also an ERP tool. It's a number one. Right now, it's an AR, number one ERP tool. Number two is Oracle ERP. Okay. Right? Yes. So whatever you are working, that is completely different. Okay. That experience is completely different because I worked in Oracle applications and that was mm -hmm. also ERP tool. That experience mm -hmm. is completely different. This experience is completely different. Okay. So both the things having zero link. Mm -hmm. So I can't say there is any link in between both of the things. Okay. So when you are going to start, start from the zero, you are going to start in the cloud. Okay. 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 Yeah. And about uh, like, uh, do we need to have the, uh, like I have gone through the course content or something like ASP knowledge or something with respect to Microsoft products, we need to have knowledge on them? Zero knowledge is required to learn about okay. Azure Admin. Okay, fine. Okay, whatever is required, we are going to learn in this today. Okay. 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 Thanks. Okay. Yes, sir. Arun, you can unmute. You have raised your hand. Arunji, do you have any question? Okay, look less more questions. Okay. Anyone have any more question? Okay, someone has more questions. Yes, my God. Yeah, hi, I'm Kitna. Good morning. Good so, morning. actually, uh, I'm based in uh, Singapore. So, currently working as a senior cyber security engineer. So, okay. actually, our company uh, recently they are going to do tender for Microsoft Azure mm -hmm. AD Active Directory and its uh, security features implementations. So, mm -hmm. after that, so for security features like uh, Intune and all, 
though we need to learn separately or out of this course or something. In this one, we are this is admin one. In this one, we are not having in much more depth about the security one we have it in this. Yeah. But so, those things are coming under expert level. Oh, okay. Yeah, much that's why but to because go this in the expert level or in the security engineer level, we are getting yeah. Ready. I mean, still base level only in Arjun. So that's what. Uh, do I need to use this one or uh, directly? Can if I you want it? to go with the is your security engineer, then you can directly go with that. Even if you want to go with the expert one, then you need to learn about the Azure admin also. Oh, okay. So if I want, if you to, see the to... path, if you see the if you see my screen in the path. Mm -hmm. That after AZ104, there are two paths. Yes. AZ400 or AZ104. Yeah. So, so if I like this course, uh, is it useful, right? So even Definitely, if yes. Answer. You are going to get a lot of information about AWS. Yeah, sorry, Azure. Right. Sorry, Azure. not AWS. Azure. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Thanks. Thanks for it. Okay. Any more questions, Venkat? Yeah, that's it. Thank you. Yes, Rahul. Sir, I have not yet paid for this uh, uh, batch. So, is it okay to pay it after this uh, class or like after there three, four hours? There are, yes, it is possible. There are a few demo sessions. You can attend the one. Even after that, okay, you can pay. Okay, thank okay. you. But you will not get any documentation from our site till the time you are not going to pay for the course. Sure, sure sir. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Anyone have any more question? Yes, Omar. Omar Sheikh, you have raised your hand. Yeah, hi. Hi, Ankit. Hi, Omar. Yeah, Ankit, uh, I have experience in this Office 65 administration and uh, mm. this Power Apps Power Automate. Mm. Like this one is the right one, the next level. So that experience is different. Mm -hmm. And this is cloud experience. It can okay. be possible, it can be integrated by using Azure Active Directory, but this is cloud one. In this one, you need to create more machines. You need to manage mm -hmm. those machines. You need to create users, manage those users. You need to get virtual network, those type of things, little bit of networking security. Those things are there into that. But that is completely different experience. Okay, and uh, which one is the I mean better one or best one in Azure or AWS? Which one? We are talking about JAWS prospectus or just for learning one. Uh, both. As for uh, jobs, I am going with the jobs one because most of the mm. students are asking about job one. So if I compare mm. as compared to other one, Azure admin is having more jobs as compared to other one. Okay. 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 After that, uh, I need to learn this this uh, Azure Dev Apps also. Or... It's completely up to you. <laughs> mm -hmm. Azure Solution Architect. Okay. It's Perfect. completely up to you. If you want to go with the DevOps one, you can go with that. Mm -hmm. Okay, Omar. Okay. Any yeah. more question? No, no, nothing. Nothing. Okay. Okay. That's it. Yes, Vivek. Hello, Ankit. Am I audible? Yes, Vivek. Yes, Vivek, I'm able to hear you. Are you able to hear me? Vivek, are you able to hear me? Vivek, are you able to hear me? Look like he has some issue with this mic. He has gone authority. Yeah, hi, Ankit. Hi. I am working at the Linux admin now. 
ఫోర్ ఇయర్స్ ఆఫ్ ఎక్స్పీరియన్స్ ఉండదు ఆల్రెడీ ఐ జాయిన్ అండ్ ఇన్ యువర్ కోర్స్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ఆల్సో ఇన్ త్రీ ఇయర్స్ బ్యాచ్ ఐ థింక్ టూ మంత్స్ త్రీ మంత్స్ బ్యాక్ ఓకే సో వాట్ ఇస్ నౌ ఐ నీడ్ టు లెర్న్ అజూర్ అడ్మిన్ విచ్ వన్ ఇస్ గుడ్ ఏడబ్ల్యూఎస్ ఆర్ అజూర్ అడ్మిన్ ఇస్ విచ్ వన్ ఇస్ బెటర్ టు గెట్ ద జాబ్ నౌ రైట్ నౌ యాస్ కంపేర్ టు హూ ఇస్ నంబర్ 1 విచ్ ఇస్ నంబర్ 1 క్లౌడ్ రైట్ నౌ ఇఫ్ ఐ టాక్ అబౌట్ విచ్ ఇస్ నంబర్ 1 క్లౌడ్ ఫ్రమ్ ఇన్ 2021 AWS is number 1 2022 AWS yeah. is number 1 but if i talk yeah. about future azure is going to be number 1 by 2025 or 2026 why i'm saying this thing even if you see here this is the market review which i have in my system right now where is microsoft in 2021 and where is aws if you see in the 2022 aws is at the same position but microsoft capture more market than aws we didn't receive till now in 2023 review till now it will get in few days but microsoft is capturing more market right now as compared to aws so if i talk about more jobs which we have aws or azure azure is having more jobs right now as compared to aws not just in one single country you are from india or from which country i am from india Now, if you are not just in india even all over the world they are capturing it more market and even might be your shocked about it. some of the google servers gcp the gcp there is one more cloud we have it mm-hmm. gcp is also using microsoft servers to to give their customers better connectivity oh mm-hmm. okay and because microsoft is having more data center as compared to aws as compared to any other cloud platform whichever we have in the market right now aws is not using google ser- microsoft server but google is using microsoft servers to to give their better connectivity to their customers and near about nine regions they are using it okay it will be helpful in azure devops also thank you definitely yes it is going to help you yeah yeah to learn about azure devops you need to have azure admin knowledge okay 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 yeah yeah okay thank you so much okay. any more question ganga sir yeah nothing else thank you anyone have any more question okay no question so we'll start with the introduction part about the aw azure whenever a word come azure aws gcp oci what is oci or ecl cloud is called as oci whenever this word comes the first thing what needs to become our mind is cloud computing because all these cloud platforms are worked based on cloud computing technology which we get access from any part of the location you are sitting from your home office or any other part of the world you can you just need a internet connection and you can access this cloud platform from any part of the world it can be used on public network or private network also public network means the network which we are using now right now the normal internet connection that is public network but what is private network we call it as vpn those type of networks are called as private network which is used in the organizations so we can access this cloud from any network or it can be accessed from any type of device it can be from your mobile from laptop from your tab from your desktop from any type of device you can access these cloud platforms features here are the few features about 
cloud computing. I'm not going in much more definition about these cloud computing features, but I'm going to discuss two important features. One is security, other one is PSU. First, I'll go with the security one. In cloud platforms, we are getting it one of the best security feature. Now, if I talk about, let's take example, I need to start my own OTT platform. If I want to start my own OTT platform, if I'm going with cloud, how much investment I need to do? Two rupees. Or I can say one US dollars only. This is the investment we need to do. And that investment which we are going to do will get a refund also. Within three to five days, we'll get a refund. Just to validate our card details, we are going to refund that amount in our bank account again. So it means we are going to invest zero. But if I want to start my own OTT platform and I want to get my servers in my own office, how much investment we need to do? We can't think about that. Can be in millions. We need to invest it. Because for that, we need internet connection. We need updated RAM, hard disk. We need electricity. So how much investment you need to do, you can think about that now. But after every few years, the RAM and the hard disk, whichever we are getting, it's getting slow. So we need to replace those also. So it's a regular activity in organization to change those things. So every time we need to do investment. If our OTT platform will work, that's good. If that OTT platform will not work, then we were in loss. So whatever we investment we have done, we, we can't recover that investment. So that's why nowadays every company is moving to cloud platform because they don't need to worry about the upgrading of the servers. They don't need to worry about anything. Because with the investment of zero rupees, they can start working on cloud platform. And if you want the security, in your own OTT platform, in your own servers, you need to buy those security features. But in cloud platforms, you don't need to pay anything additional for security one. Because whatever they are going to charge you for the servers, everything is including under that. So this is also one reason they are moving to cloud platform. And with that, we have covered with pay as you go. Pay as you go means if I'm using that particular server for 30 minutes, I need to only pay for 30 minutes. I even no need to pay for one hour. I don't need to pay for two hours. I don't need to pay for full day or for a week. If I'm using that particular service for 30 minutes, I'm going to pay only for 30 minutes. There are few services in Azure for those they are charging based on minutes. And fewer service they are going to charge on based on hours also. It means if you are using that service for 30 minutes, you need to still pay for one hour. But there are a lot of services we have in Azure, they are going to charge based on minutes. So if you are using the service for 30 minutes, you're going to pay only for 30 minutes. But if I talk about in AWS, all services, whichever they have, they are charging on hourly basis. And AWS is costly as compared to Azure. And they are charging even on minutes basis also. So that's the my main reason companies are switching to Azure Cloud Platform. As compared to services, if I talk about AWS and Azure, both are having same services. The only thing is naming convention is different. 99% services are same, 1% can be very little bit of, they are providing, they are not providing it. But the basic service every cloud is providing to all their customers. So these are the two important features about 
cloud computing we have other also we have here now coming to the types of cloud computing we have two types of models one is called deployment model other one is called service model in deployment models we have three types public private hybrid in service model we have also three types IAAS, PAAS, SAAS. What are the full form of these? Let's discuss. Now coming to the first deployment model. In deployment model, whatever the clouds we have, it's AWS, it's Azure, it's GCP. Whatever the cloud we have in the market, all are coming under public cloud. These are public cloud, Oracle cloud, Google cloud, or AWS, Azure. These all are public cloud. Then comes with private cloud. The cloud which we have in our own organizations, with the customers has made their own, the clients has made their own. Those type of clouds are called as private So organization which they have, organization. Private clouds are also called as internal cloud or corporate cloud also. Then comes with the hybrid cloud. Combination of public plus private. Few clients are using both the clouds. Whatever they have internally or whatever they have taken in the AWS or Azure cloud. So if they are using both, it means they are using hybrid cloud depend on their requirement to requirement they are you say come with the service model iaas iaas full form is infrastructure as a service all the cloud platforms are coming under infrastructure as a service it means why we call coming under infrastructure as service because we are going to use their infrastructure. We are using their network. We are using their storage. We are using their servers, hard disk, CPU, RAM. So that's why every cloud platform is coming under infrastructure as a service. Then comes with the PWAS, platform as a service. In Azure, we have a service called Azure App Service. That particular service is coming under platform as a service. Why it is coming under platform as a service? Because in this one, what we are going to do is, we just need to upload our code. Whatever the infrastructure is required in the backend, that is completely taken care by the Azure. We just need to upload our code and select how much CPU and RAM we need. Other than then, it is completely taken care by the Azure. And app service is used for the web applications. So with the help of this, we can make our web applications. Yeah. And then we have software as a service. Gmail, Dropbox, WhatsApp, Telegram, these all things are coming under software as a service. We have all, all are using Gmail. We all are using WhatsApp, Telegram, any of the messaging app you are using it. So all are coming under software as a service. So these are the types of cloud we have in the market right now and which cloud platform we are going to learn we are going to learn about a pla cloud platform called as azure who has created this platform by a company called microsoft earlier azure is called as windows azure and then after that has been renamed as Microsoft Azure. 
in 2014. They have started this cloud platform in 2010. They have invested a huge amount of money in data center across global. They have 54 regions. It means all over the world, they have 54 data centers. More than any of their competitor. AWS is having 32. Google is having some 20. They have 54 regions. And here is that list I have given it. Where are the all 54 regions we have? Even with the help of this particular link, you can check their current location of the satellites also. They are showing those also to us. Here is it. Yeah, we can see here the complete connectivity. So these are the green dots. These are the, the dots which have the circle one which you are able to see. These are the one we have. Here is it. Here we have all the details. Here we have about Australia. Here we can see the details. If you want to filter it, you can filter also. If you want to see complete map, you can see that. Let me share that particular link in the chat box. So here you can see the all the regions wherever we have. Regions means data centers. They have. And few of the regions are using the natural energy. Means wind energy they are using. They are using solar energy to run their regions. And even Azure is working on one thing where we are going to put their region, that complete region, under water also. They are working on it, but it's not yet completely successful. They are saying by 2030, they are going to be successful and they are going to move few of their regions underwater. With that, they're going to save a lot of money. They are going to save it. Because if they are underwater, they don't need to turn on the AC 24 by 7 because this AC needs 24 by 7 AC servers. It's a summer or winter, any season, they need it. So that's, they are going, they are working right now and it might be they are going to be, start this thing by 2030, but it is not live till now for any of the customers, but still they are working. So they have total 54 regions. It means 54 data centers now whenever you are going to create your account you will get subscription there and whenever you are going to create your azure account you will get a credit of 15800 indian rupees or you will get a credit of 200 us dollars and this particular credit you will get for first 30 days. After 30 days, did they start charging you? No. For first 30 days, you will get a credit. After 30 days, you will get a pay-as-you-go subscription. After 30 days, when you go to upgrade to pay as you go subscription, you will get 12 months free. And one important point, the free quota which you get, that is for 30 days. If you are not going to use it, this free tier amount, after 30 days, they are going to completely remove that one. It means for first 30 days, you can use any of the Azure service. They are not going to charge you a single rupee 
till the time you are under this particular credit. So this is free subscription you will get. After 30 days, you need to manually upgrade your subscription to pay as you go. How to do that? I'll share some video. You can check by using that how to upgrade your subscription also. I will teach you that also. So once you upgrade your subscription for next 12 months, you will get a free tier from their side. It means few of these services which are coming under 12 months free tier. And it doesn't mean for 12 months is completely unlimited free. No, they are putting some limitations under that for 12 months. So if you are using that particular service under the limitation, they are not going to charge you for that. If you are going to use more than your, their limitations, they will charge you for that. And even few of these services, they are coming under always free. Always free means lifetime free. You are using service within 30 days or after 30 days or after one year or two years. For that particular service, they are not going to charge you. But how we get information that which service is coming under 12 months free or which service is coming under always free? Because for First 30 days, it is unlimited free. You can use any service under this free tier. Under this credit, they are not going to charge you. But after 30 days, here is that particular link. Taking some time to open the link. Let me first share this link in the chat box. Guys, you can't copy these things because that's by default disabled from the Zoom. You just need to click on those links. And here are the list of countries where you will get the $200 credit. Here we have. And here we can see, see all free services. In Azure, we have a service called Advisor. Free period always unlimited free. So here we can see all the services name. Let me scroll down more. Here we have a service called Virtual Network. Always free. 50 virtual networks. We have a virtual machine service. Virtual machine for Linux. Virtual machine Windows. 750 hours per month free. This is per month free. And they have mentioned the types. These are the types they have mentioned. We can use these types. What are these types? We'll discuss in upcoming session. So if you are using these types after 30 days for next 12 months, they are not going to charge you and you will get 750 hours per month free. For Linux, 750 hours for Windows. It means you are going to create, let's example, you are going to create 10 virtual machines. So 750 divided by 10, it means for each machine, you will get 75 hours for each machine. So if we have just only one single machine, it means 750 hours you will get for one single machine. And if I talk about in the one month, how many days we have, let's calculate with 30. Seven twenty, And they are providing 750. Even if I go with the 31 of the month, then we have 744 hours. Still, we have 6 hours extra. So if you don't need multiple machines, you just need one or two or three machines whenever we want to practice. And after a practice, if you delete those machines, they are not going to charge you for that. So till that time you are under this free tier, definitely they are not going to charge you. So like this, here we have all these services name. They have mentioned that particular service name how much you can use that particular service. If you are using a particular service under their free tier, 
they are not going to charge you. We have Azure DevOps, always free, five users. Azure files, 100 GB of storage, we can store data for 12 months under LRS. What is this LRS? You will understand in upcoming session when we learn about storage service. So like this here, you will get all the details about service. You will get information that particular service is coming under our free tier. And this particular map I have, sorry, this particular details I have already shown you about the market review, which we have seen about the July 2021, which we got. So here was the position of Microsoft in 2021. And then we have it for 2022, 2023 one till now we didn't receive it. So I hope might be this month we'll receive that for 2023 also. So you can see the gap between Microsoft and Azure earlier it was so much in 2021, but in 2022 it get less. So definitely the new review which we get in that one, it will be very less. Like earlier, we have discussed it because Microsoft is capturing more market right now as compared to any other cloud platform. And here are the few of the services name which we are going to learn. So how many services which we are going to cover? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. These are 22 services which we are going to cover in this training. And duration is 45 days. Each session is going to near about one hour Monday to Friday as per India timing. As per India timing, it will be 6.30 a.m. IST Monday to Friday. And session timing as per our schedule. Each session we are going to record and we are going to share the recordings with our paid candidates. And cost of the training is 5,900 INR. If I talk about in US dollar, it is going to be 72 US dollars. Course content link I have already shared in the chat box. You can please refer that course content link. And let me share again in the chat box. And I'm also going to share our social media details. And I'm going to share the WhatsApp community link also. If you're not there, you can please join by using the link. And after completion of this training, if you want to go for any certification, you can go for this particular certification, AZ104. And for this particular certification, we are going to help you. We are going to share some dumps also with that help of dump. You can 100% clear these certifications also. And if you are going to join this particular batch, what are the things you will get from our side? Live training, recordings, training PPT. These are things you will get on daily basis. At the end of the training, you will get Azure Dump, which help you to clear the certification, Azure document, sample resumes, quiz, and interview question. And you will also get self-learning Linux commands also. A few of the basics is as per our course content, we are going to learn, but basics we are going to. We are not going in much more depth. If you want to go in much more depth, I'm going to share a link with the help of that particular link. You guys can learn about Linux commands.
And these things you will get at the end of the trade. Now, and if you have any doubt related to training, you can please contact my team. And whenever you're doing practice, if you have any doubt, make sure you are going to email me. And whenever you're going to email me, mention your batch number 213. So with the help of that, it will be easy for me to recognize you are from which particular batch and whatever the knowledge I have transferred to you, I can help you on that. So this is about the details about the training from my side. Now, if you have any question, please quickly raise your hand. Yes, Spike. Hello. Hello. Yes. Yeah, hi, sir. Nice talking with you. Yeah, I have a doubt for you. For learning these Azure admin, how much extent we need to know about Microsoft uh, Server Administration? Is that need or no need to, to have any knowledge? Learn about? About, to learn about Azure admin, you don't need a no any knowledge okay even and... a person let me be complete first yeah yeah sorry, sorry, sorry yeah a person yeah. who is fresher or a person who is having some any other knowledge anyone can join this particular course okay and one more doubt for you sir hmm. if you go for any company regarding this job opening or something uh, do we uh, do we need any some knowledge on server administration or uh, no need of any knowledge no, about no, the no. server administration? No need. No. That's fine. All right. Thank you, sir. Any more question you have? Yeah, no, sir. Thank you so much. Anyone have any more question? Yes, please. Yeah. Um, I wanted to ask that how can we use the free chair for our training? Free chair, AMA, Azure free chair for our training, or we need to create a new account for that. Do you do you have any account? Uh yeah, I created uh one month ago, but I never used anything in it so. I'm just asking because uh, I'm out of the subscription, 200 uh, free that I always give. So that's why I'm asking. If you have uh, if you have not used that in 30 days, definitely that has been deleted, removed from their side. Yeah, it has you been removed it already. Again, yes. So if you are, but still you are under 12 months, their quota. So if you are using it, they are not going to charge you. If you are, till that time you are using their free tier details. Okay. Like I have shared one link in the chat box. You can refer that particular link with the help of that you will get the information which services are coming under free tier or not. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Okay. So in the today's session, we have just discussed about the introduction one. In tomorrow's session, we are going to learn about how we can create our Azure account. And then we are going to discuss about marketplace subscription, where we can see our subscription. We'll see all those details. And then we are going to learn about how to create a virtual machine. So it means in tomorrow's session, we are going to start a first service called virtual machine. Any question anyone have, please let me know, or we can end the session here. Yes, Gangadhar. Yes, 
Yes, and brother, you can unmute. Yeah, yeah. Once we will pay the amount, we will get this all these documents. At the end of the training, you are getting it. Like, but okay, on daily, on daily, this, yes. at, on daily yeah. basis, you are getting it recording notes and the PPTs, whichever I'm using it. Those things you are getting it on daily basis. But about the other documents, okay. it is clearly mentioned here. You will get at the end of the training. Okay, means you now you are uh, showing the all the documents at the end of the course we will get, right? In these things, whatever is mentioned here, okay. these are the ones. Wherever is mentioned is star. On daily basis, live yeah. training, recordings, and training PPTs, you will get. Okay. And once we complete the Linux topic, then you will get the Linux command. So you can learn Linux commands also from there. Okay. Okay. But these are the things okay. which is mentioned in start, you will get at the end of that. Means on the last day you will get. Okay. 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 Yes, One more question, actually. Yes. Actually, Azure DevOps is and normal DevOps is there any difference or uh, Ankit? Now, whenever you listen a word cloud plus DevOps, means any cloud platform plus DevOps, it means you are going to work on DevOps on that particular cloud platform. If you are just listening DevOps, it means you are going to work yeah. on the on-premises DevOps. Means they have on-premises servers. On that, you are going to work on DevOps tools. But if I talk about the Azure DevOps, it means you are going to work on the Azure platform with the DevOps part. Okay. 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 But if you talk about yeah. Azure DevOps, Azure DevOps having its own services. So some other yeah. third-party tools we have. If I talk about Docker, Kubernetes. Yes, yes. These are third party tools. But Azure yes. having its own tools also, which we need to learn under Azure DevOps. Means like uh, Jenkins, like that, that, that separate. Jenkins is to not like there. That. Jenkins is not in the Azure DevOps training. The reason is because a Jenkins is a pipeline tool. Yes, yes. It's create pipeline. So Azure have its own pipeline. We have a service called Azure Pipeline under DevOps. So we need to learn that one, not Jenkins. Okay. Means in in Azure DevOps means, yeah. Sorry, can you repeat your question? Yeah, in Azure DevOps means there is one services, right? Like Git, there is separate tools, is there? Same like that. Here is also some own tools, right? Own tool also we have. Own services. Like we have it in market, we have a Jira tool. Report, it's a ah. reporting tool. So they have their own also. They have their oh, own, okay. uh, no, no, like they have, we have a Git, GitHub where we are storing our code. They have their own yes, also yes. in Azure. You need to know GitHub ah. also to learn about Azure DevOps. That's what a part of our training also. But in this one, whatever the Azure DevOps service, you need to know those also. Okay. 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 Yeah, yeah. Okay. Got it. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yes, bless you can unmute. Um, I wanted to ask that what if at the end of the training and I'm not still comfortable, like okay, I'm ready for the job market, how can you guys still assist us? Means what do you want me to assist? Elaborate I mean, course. like, is there uh let's say at the end of the course, mm. I mean, I am not fit like you know, in the market, maybe I still need some more hands-on so and more explanation it. and you practice can, it. You can do one thing. Practice it. If you okay. have any doubt, email me. Okay. It doesn't mean that your badge is going to be complete. You can't email me. The person who has taken training one year before also, they're still emailing me. I'm okay. replying them. Okay. Okay. But yes, sometimes what happens is I will get a reply. Might be in 15 minutes. Sometimes I will get a in two, three hours also. Depend on my availability. But yes, 100% you will get a reply from my side. All right. All okay, right, but make you. sure whenever you're going to email me, just mention your batch number. That's the only thing which I'm I need it from your side. All right. Okay. okay. Thank you. Anyone have any more question? Yes, Madhavi, you can unmute. Yeah, hi, I am interested in this course, uh, but unfortunately, I joined a little late. Uh, so not very interesting. Today is the first session. We have just an introduction about myself, your, it means the students, whichever who has joined about the, the, themselves. Nothing uh, we have learned. 
today oh no uh, absolutely but you know i did see it uh, on the line but when i'm trying to reach your phones you know it's very hard uh, i'm not able to connect to anybody because i wanted to know how to pay the fee and you know right now time is 7:30 am uh -huh. so and try to reach them by 9 o'clock so they'll reply you that one Okay, after so nine nine thirty, you can reach them. Uh, if you want to call, you can call to Sri Kant or Aisha. Okay, to these Shri, two uh, number. Yeah, is there a way you can put it in the chat, sir? Please. I've shared the number. Yes, I've shared the number. Or if you want, okay. I can uh, share the payment link also in the chat box. Just that will be let great. Me let me share that one. And once you make the payment from our website, you can easily access the course. And if you are interested. You can mm -hmm. download a mobile app also, but right now the mobile app is only working for Android phones. Okay. And, and an... yes. yes, yes. Continue. Yeah. And another question is that, you know, like uh, as just now one of the student has asked, you know, uh, by the end of this training and if I'm not comfortable and I would like to join the next session, am I allowed to do join or like how does it go? Yes, you are allowed, but within three months. Got you. Within, okay. There are two things, actually. One, two things. One is within three months. Or the other mm -hmm. thing is, whatever the next batch I'm going to plan, in that one, you need to join. Okay, got it. Okay? Because sometimes what happened might be I'm busy. I'm not able to plan a batch within the next two months. So it doesn't okay. mean that if your three months is complete, you can't join. The two things. One is three months. Other one is whatever the next batch I'm going to plan, in that one, you need to join. Mm -hmm. So whatever comes first, that needs to be there. Okay. And this course is completely administrator, right? So like if yes. I want to go for DevOps, so the next that's one... That's a different course. Yeah, that's a AZ-900. So Not you... AZ-900. Uh, that's AZ-700. AZ-305. Sorry, not 305, sorry. AZ-700? Sorry, AZ-400. That's oh, AZ-400. AZ-900 is this one. The first one, this is optional. Okay. Okay. Okay, if I want to go for AZ-400, do you also teach that, yes, sir? Yes, I'm, I'm the one. I'm the trainer for that, AZ-400. Okay, I after I'm done with this, I would love to join and appreciate it. So, definitely, uh, what, as per current, my plans, which right now I'm making it, after completion of this batch, the next batch is in the same time zone. I will, same time, I'll go with Azure DevOps. Okay, thank you. appreciate it. Any more questions, Madhvi? No, that should be good. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Anyone have any more question? Oh. Look like no one has any more questions. So with this, I'm going to end this session here. Into someone has made a question. Yes, Madhavi. Uh, like if if uh, I miss any day, any class, I know they are recording. So like yes, will uh, where do they share the recordings? In or our like... website, we are uploading the recordings in our website. Oh, can you give access to us so that we can? Yes. Go... So make whenever you want to make the payment, first you need to create your account in our website. Means you need to sign up, you create your account, and based on that. Account, email id you need to make the payment for that email id automatically you will get access for that batch and under that batch we are going to upload the recordings and notes you can download the notes but uh, recordings is access for lifetime oh. you can't download the recordings but you have a lifetime access of record okay oh. if you are an android user you can access the mobile app also link is given here ios app is not working from last few days i don't know why but android app is working right now so if you're an Android user, you can download the mobile app also. Okay. okay. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Okay. Thank you all. Thank you for joining today's session. See you tomorrow. Have a nice day. Thank you so much.